I found it extremely stressful to write my first ACCA exam. Not because I wasn't prepared, but because I wasn't used to the concept of writing online and I just didn't know what to expect. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my five index framework that actually moved the needle when I was preparing for my first exam. Hey gang, I'm Conrad and on this channel, I help accountants achieve their dreams of becoming chartered accountants. As always, timestamps will be in the description. If you want to skip around, please do so. But let's get into the five index framework. Part one of the framework is called index keyboarding. And that is getting yourself one of these bad boys. Now, this is nothing special, guys. This is like literally a $10 keyboard that you can buy off of any Chinese shop. I think I got this one off of Shein. Now, the reason why I started working on one of these bad boys is because when you're going to write a CBE central based exam, you're not going to get a fancy ass freaking keyboard that just types smoothly and that you're so used to. You're going to get one of these flipping awful things that are so difficult to type on. Like literally if you try typing on thing no, in the exam, I was struggling no, to type. No. You're going to get one of these type of mouses. And I know this is a Logitech, but literally it has a cable. Now I'm actually in the process of learning how to type faster. And I'm actually making a video about this because think about it. The faster you type, the higher of an advantage you have. It's like speaking faster, listening to audiobooks on 2x speed, listening to YouTube videos on 2x speed, watching movies in 2x speed. It's just such a hack, guys, and I wouldn't recommend it more. The faster you type, the faster you can get your answers on the sheet. Second part to the framework is called voluntary discomfort. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this concept before, but it is basically something from Stoicism, which says that you should put yourself in uncomfortable situations, for example, cold showers, sleeping on the floor, sleeping outside, in order to get used or be grateful for the gratitudes that you have in your life. So one thing that I actually did, I started sitting on a hard ass freaking chair. Because guys, realistically, you are not gonna get a fancy ass chair that costs 300 pounds. You're gonna get a chair that is perhaps a bit broken and it's, it's really hard, it hurts your ass if you sit on it and you need to sit damn three hours on this chair. So start getting used to that voluntary discomfort, please. Other ways I did this was simulating exam conditions. Now where I'm from, it's really hot. So I closed all of the windows in my room and literally put the heat on full blast in full summer just to get the simulation of what it's gonna be like in the room. So literally when there's a sweat drop from your head, you are gonna get used to that process. So just put yourself in the exam conditions. Make it quiet. Just have your keyboard, have your mouse. Don't be distracted. Turn on the heat, that'll help. Part three in the framework is choosing the narrow path. Now, what I mean by this is that a lot of people just choose reading through their notes. And that isn't effective. As you guys know, passive learning is not an effective way to study. We want to generally try and do an active based approach when we're trying to study. So a way of doing this is I go on my Notion page, like I've showed you guys before, and I create question banks. And I'm in the process of trying to gamify my question banks. So I'm trying to color code green, amber, and then red. And then from this, I can then get an indication of what I know well, what I don't know well, what I need to revise again. And just don't read your study notes the whole time. Try and do more questions with, with regards to this. Another aspect that you guys can focus on practically is doing more section B and section C questions. Section A questions are for those of you who are a bit afraid of going into the deep side because it's a, it's, it's a bit easier. Okay, it's not easier, but it's, it's not as difficult as section B and C. Focus on just putting yourself in the narrow path and doing the harder questions, doing the harder things first, eating the frog first. Part four of the framework, momentum mori. Using the clock against you. Now I've got a basic ass clock that I use. Literally, like I said guys, it's a clock that I bought off of Sheen for I think maybe $5. You don't need to buy an expensive ass clock. <laughs> you can also use your phone or Pomodoro in this instance. So there's a rule that I stick to when I do my exams. And that is called the two 0.8 minute rule and that means is that when you're spending time on a question multiply the questions mark that it's out of by 2.8 and that gives you the a lot of time that you need to spend on that and another method you guys can use is try and be hard on yourself a bit i know it's difficult to mimic these exam type of situations but sit down and say i've got 24 minutes for this i know i might not finish it in 24 minutes but let me see how far i get try and finish it within the 24 minutes and 
when you reach the mark of 24 minutes, stop yourself and then count how many marks you got. It'll give you a realistic overview of how you managed to be able to do in that specific section. We covered four parts of the five part framework of the index framing. And the last one I call overview plotting. Now this is something I came up with lately. Overview plotting is the idea of briefing yourself a week before the time. Working through your emotions because I know if it might be your first exam or it might be your 10th. Exam stress is a real thing and literally I nearly went through a breakthrough a week ago. Which you guys will see in this video of mine, like literally I was eating a burger in a parking lot talking to a camera and I was feeling so stressed about it because I was a week before my exam and I didn't, it was my first exam and I was so stressed and I, you know, I, I felt that chartered accountancy is not for me. I, I felt so down. So if you want to see that video, I'm going to link it up here and then I'll see you there. Cheers.